St. Lucia's Ministry of Education has taken on a new TVET thrust, seeking to achieve several goals, including providing a dynamic student-centered curriculum for diverse and inclusive education, establishing a work-based approach, aligning education with industry needs at local and international levels, enhancing human resource capacity and resilience through skill-based learning, and offering varied qualifications with multiple entry points to access these qualifications. This will create the groundwork for a highly skilled workforce that can spur innovation and sustainable growth across a range of industries by investing in the professional development of secondary school students. Here to tell us more about this new thrust is Education Officer and Head of the TVET Unit, Delphia Nature. Pioneering success through TVET transformation. Who are we? The TVET unit operates as a specialized department in the Ministry of Education. We are responsible for technical vocational education and training within the primary school and secondary school system. However, we also provide insight and support to our tertiary institutions. Now, what is TVET? TVET is an inclusive educational program that emphasizes skill, knowledge, and attitudes to prepare students for occupations in various industry areas. The Ministry of Education is currently undertaking one of the boldest initiatives in the education system by transforming four secondary schools into full TVET institutions. The pillars of this transformation includes inclusivity, diversity, and opportunity. Our TVET drive is dubbed TVET St. Lucia, and the tagline is Think, Do, Succeed. Let us look at the TVET School Transformation Project. The Ministry of Education is diversifying four secondary schools, namely the Auger Secondary School, the Grand Riviere Secondary School, the Stanley John Audler Memorial Secondary School, and the PI Secondary School into full TVET institutions. The rationale for this transformation lies on four tenets. First includes encouraging lifelong learning. The second, increased opportunity for employment and entrepreneurship. Thirdly, the personal development and growth of individuals. And fourth, the empowerment of active citizens. Let us look at our four schools and what will be the offerings at these four schools. First, the Angers Secondary School. The Angers Secondary School will become the Institute of Innovation and Technology. The technical concentration for this school will involve exciting areas such as small engine repair, small appliance repairs, building and furniture making, bread cakes and pastry, crop production, barbering and hair braiding and weaving, as well as fitness instruction. The Grand Riviere Secondary School will become the Institute of Sustainable Agriculture, Culinary and Entrepreneurial Services. The technical concentrations of the Grand Riviere Secondary School or the Institute of Sustainable Agriculture, Culinary and Entrepreneurial Services will include exciting areas such as aquaponics, grow box operations, crop production, irrigation, community tourism cookery operations, cake baking and decorating, manufacture sewn products, motor vehicle care and conditioning, furniture making and upholstery, barbering, 
and general cosmetology. The PI Secondary School, which will be the Institute of Construction and Heritage, will offer furniture making, furniture design, upholstery, general construction, painting and decorating, as well as community tourism, dance, musical performance, jewelry production. They will offer areas in agriculture, such as amenity horticulture, grow box operations, aquaponics, and in food production, bread cakes and pastries, community tourism cookery operations, and of course, under personal services, barbering, and hair braiding and weaving. The Stanley John Odellum Memorial Secondary School will become the Institute of Arts, Media and Design. The technical concentrations will include exciting areas such as multimedia production, graphic design, photography, fabric design, fashion design, manufacture sewn products, dance, events management, carpentry, bread cakes and pastry, inland aquaculture operations, horticultural nursery operations, and barbering and hair braiding and weaving. What sets these schools apart? Work readiness, the holistic development of the students, the flexibility of the programs, as well as attaining certification with global recognition. These essential skills promote learning, employability, personal development, as well as active citizenship. This TVET transformation project is not just an alternative pathway, but rather a diverse pathway to success. The most important question on every educator and parent's mind may be what qualifications do students attain at these four institutions? The CVQ or Caribbean Vocational Qualification or the NVQ, the National Vocational Qualification, forms a staple at every one of these four institutions. Students will also have the opportunity to pursue subjects offered by CXC at the CSEC level. In addition, students will soon be able to access qualifications offered by City and Guilds, BTEC, and other international qualifying bodies. General admittance is attained at grade seven through the CPEA assessment. However, true to our pillars, which drives our transformation, students who may not possess the prerequisite skills and knowledge may be offered the opportunity of an additional year in pre-7, which is a preparatory year, ensuring their readiness to access the grade 7 curriculum. In addition, there is an opportunity for access into the TVET schools at grade 9, or what we commonly call Form 3. Students attending other secondary schools who may have decided to follow particular career pathways can gain admittance through transfer into the TVET schools at the grade 9 level. Finally, in the near future, these TVET schools will offer grade 12 and students who are already attending the TVET schools or persons who are attending other secondary schools can gain admittance into the grade 12, which is an additional year where you can hone your skills and increase your CVQ levels. Let's look at a hypothetical student and follow the TVET pathway. This is Gina. She's a top performer in the CPEA. She is fascinated with agriculture. She chose the school 
and has gained admittance into grade 7. Let us follow Gina's progression from grade 7 to grade 8. Gina's compulsory subjects will include English, Mathematics, Social Studies, Integrated Science, Modern Language for TVET Communication, Physical Education, Digital Literacy, Transferable Skills, and Education for Democratic Citizenship. At this point, Gina will be exposed to a variety of TVET subjects during the Skills Induction Program. As Gina enters Grade 9, she has selected Agriculture as her industry pathway. Therefore, Gina will pursue areas related to agriculture. Her compulsory subjects include English, Mathematics, EDPM, Occupational Health and Safety, and it also includes First Aid Certification. And Gina will be honing her employability skills in order to access the workforce. Gina will choose two additional CSEC subjects, Integrated Science and Agriculture Science, which will tie into her selected occupational area. Let us look at her occupational areas. Gina will begin with horticultural nursery operations and grow box operations. As she becomes certified in these areas, Gina will then move on to crop production by the time she gets to grade 10 and 11. Gina will then be ready for grade 12, where she will study crop production level two. This makes it extremely easy for Gina to now gain access into the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College's program in crop production level three. Remember, this TIVA transformation is about inclusivity, diversity, and opportunity. For more information, feel free to contact the TVET unit at Hasashi Complex Goodlands at 468-5437 or WhatsApp us on 730-0370. Or you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at TVET Unit or TVET Unit St. Lucia.